Hello, how are you and welcome to a lesson on function machines. So, today's lesson will be able to find the output of a function with, of course, a given input. The real life link will certainly include things such as computer science and, of course, the broader computing, engineering, mechanics, and then keywords are balance, inverse, and, of course, what else is written down below. So, first of all, remember that, if you didn't, of course, know that a function is a rule in which it maps one number, okay? Basically, you're given an input. And it gives you an output. So you give me an input and I'll give you an output. And of course the formal definition is shown on the board. Now a function machine is a diagram which shows what is exactly happening. So if you look at the bottom right, if you look just over here, you'll see that the function machine, this is literally a machine, you put your number in and it'll give you a number in the out. Alright? And in maths we look at it more similar to something like this. So you're given your input, alright? To this input, you're going to multiply by 3. Whatever your answer that is, whatever's going on then, the next thing that happens is plus 2. And then whatever your number on the outside is, will be your output. And that's based on what happens to the number inside the machine. This can actually be called the machine, basically. Machine. Right? It can also be written as an equation get rid of all this annotation now it can also be written as an equation so y equals 3x plus 2 so you put your x value in that x times by 3 and then adds by 2 and then you get your y which is your output so let's actually look at an example let's say that we were given the input 3 and the function we had the function machine was times by 4 add 1 to get your output well that would be 3 times by 4, which is 12, add 1, and then your output pops out as 13. So your input is 3, we multiply by 4, we then add 1, and that gives us 13. So here's another example we can do. So we are given an input. What happens to the input is we take away 5, we then divide by 2, and we get left with our output. Now the input in this example is 15. What happens to 15? Oops, it should be a 15. 15 take away 5 is 10. Divided by 2, you get 5. Right? Now have a go at this question. You're given the input 3. Okay. And here's what happens in the machine. Find the output. So hopefully you had, you had a go and you would have gotten 24. Now with that said, I want you to have a go again. So hopefully you've had a go. We put our input in, 7. 7 multiplied by 8 is 56. Now with that said and done, I want you to have a go at these questions. And once you are done, you can upload your work onto class charts.